Hey guys, so we are back with my brand new addiction, Cookie Run Kingdom. And oh boy, look at all these arrows, exclamation marks and pop-ups. I got a lot to do. But first of all, let's finish this axe factory. There we go. Very nice. Can I make some pickaxes? Yes, here we go. Oh, I cannot make more. Let's also make an axe. Very, very nice. Also, these are done. Thank you very much. I have no idea what they do, actually. Um, to level up, we need two axes, so that's fine. In the meantime, we will just make some logs, because why not? So, first of all, let's check out the mail. Claim all. We got a bunch of cash and some uh, food, which is really nice. We completed a cool achievement, so we got some gems. Of course, don't forget to claim the free once a day necessary. There we go, some free gems, always nice to get. Also, a bunch of cool free stuff obtained from uh, all the events, which is also really, really nice. So we also have something in the build menu, which means we indeed have to make a sugar quarry, which was something we couldn't do last time, but this time, there we go, sugar quarry. Only three minutes to build, so that's very, very nice. Of course, we also want to make a jelly bean farm, there we go. We're missing one X, unfortunately, but luckily we will get that pretty soon and then we can build the sugar mines. I have actually no idea why we need these houses, but my quest said build a house. So there we go. And we're building a house. Luckily, we have a lot of wood to build all those houses. Very luckily. We also unlocked some new decor. So let's take a look at Happy Farm. Ooh. Okay, Happy Farm actually has some cool stuff. What does the farm have? Ooh, wait, why is this one gems? That's kind of weird. Okay, this is mostly food. Then we got Gnome's Life, which these look super fun. And we got Acorn Village. This thing looks absolutely amazing. But I want to keep my gems. So... I don't know if I want to buy anything from this. Let's actually buy this very cool horse. I also really want this beehive. But once again, I want to save my crystals. So let's buy this epic horse. And let's put him right here. There we go. Look at how cute he is. Ah, can you sit on him? No, that's a shame. Of course, claim your daily gift. Here we go. We got some epic stuff we also have some cookie cutters ha do i want to use them ha maybe another time but not right now so in the last episode we basically beat chapter one at least i assume so we get those 700 gems very nice and uh, we can build this bridge probably so let's take a look at that just an x Luckily we got one or not. Wait, what's happening? I clicked the wrong button. You're supposed to click this button. There you go. The bridge is done. And with that, we reached episode 2. Which this looks like a very cool map. We got a bunch of bosses. We got Dragon's Heart. We got this guy again. We got here we got a boss. So, very amazing. So, our quest wants us to go to Gloomy Forest. So, let's move on to Gloomy Forest. I'm always so excited to start playing this game again. I absolutely love this game. It's so fun. Let's do a critical up and a healing and a black hole to kill all those bees. Haha! <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Three stars! That means extra gems. I'm actually feeling that my units are taking quite a bit of damage. So I should probably invest in a better healer. Or update, like upgrade our healer. 
Unfortunately, we haven't unlocked upgrading yet, so that kind of sucks. But we definitely need a better healer because, oh boy, oh boy, they're taking a lot of damage. But even so, still maximum stars. Woohoo! But with that, we arrived at our destination. Gloomy Forest. Let's enter and uh, see what the game has in store for us. Here we go. Let's fight them all. Critical hit, healing. There we go. Let's run, run, run. Yeah, okay. It's a little boars. Let's do a black hole. Let's get rid of them. There we go. Very, very nicely. The beast come out. Let's go dark chocolate. Let's do a heal. Let's up our crit rate. There we go. A black hole to kill all these little cake puppies. Yeah, and moving forward. Stop the interruptions and let's do a big damaging move. There we go. And let's keep running, running, running. And yeah! Okay, the boss. Quick. Let's use everything we got. We don't want anybody to die. Oh, that wasn't even the boss. Oh, no. Or was it? Oh, look at that. Whoa. It's a ghost. She really looks like Clover. But luckily, we finished the story. Turned out it was a ghost. And the ghost went poof. And then she was gone. Very, very scary. Bounties are now available. Yeah. What do bounties do? I want to take a look at bounties. Those look interesting. Hey boss, if I were you, I will take a look at today's bounty. Okay. So if something has to deal with, you can put on the bounty boards. Uh, objectives. Oh, we're already going. I don't want to kill this cute little guy. In today's bounty, you can find skill powder. So we can click on espresso and we can upgrade our skills. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, I want to do that. Yo, let's do some bounties and upgrade our skills. But first, the treasure chest. Yeah. Ooh, I have no idea what's that all. Wait, is that all the upgrade dust? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, let's actually take a look at how these bounties work. So... We can pick between these two. So this one gives me healing skill powder. And this one gives me support skill powder. So. And when we take a look at this daily rewards. We can see that on Friday and Saturday. We get a whole bunch of bounties. On Sunday every skill powder. And on other days. It's like very balanced out. Like which ones you're gonna get. So you basically have to make a schedule for yourself to maximize your cookies. So for this one, let's go to Night Sky Squid. And we get 5 healing powder at level 1, which is cool. So let's go. Let's click ready. And uh, battle and see if we can win against the Night Sky Squid. Here we go, guys. Okay, there are mini enemies in between, which is kind of scary, but let's just keep ourselves healed and make sure we don't take too much damage. So here we go, here we go. I think one more enemy badge. Yep, there we go. Dark chocolate, get them. Let's go. Let's put on a healing because we want to be healed as much as we can. There we go. I think now it's time for the boss. Nope, it's not time. We first have to kill another batch. Let's up our critical hit. Here we go. We're very low and we still need to fight the boss. But here is the boss. So let's go all out, guys. Let's pop every skill that we have. And hopefully we can defeat him. And we actually did defeat him. He actually has a poison effect, which is pretty scary. But we have a victory and we got five healing powder. So the cool thing about the bounties is that you can actually do it three times a day. Does it actually... Okay, but you can only pick three bounties. So if I do the squid three times, I cannot do the shroomer anymore. So you gotta keep that in mind. You gotta pick and choose which skill power you want. Looks like our houses are finished. So there we go. We got some epic quest completions for that. 
There we have the houses. Let's collect our pickaxes, actually. Let's make this shop come true. And let's build some axes to use for the building upgrade. We also want to get our wood back. There we go. And level up the structure so we can make better wood. Then, let's them search for some sugar because we need it. Oh, I didn't check the wishing well even. Let's collect all this stuff. There we go. Yeah, some more power. Let's go. That's really, really nice. But now, let's actually upgrade some of our cookies, shall we? Of course, we're gonna upgrade our best girl first. First of all, can we level you up higher? We can! You can go to level 7 now. Let's go. There you go. Okay, so to upgrade our best girl, we actually need to use uh, this magic power. So, let's max level her. And she gets plus 1.1% damage. That's all fine by me. Let's level her up. Level 6. Yeah! I also want to see this guy. Does this guy actually get more improved healing? Or does it actually do nothing? Wait, why does it do nothing, huh? Wait. Okay, healing 12. Okay, let's upgrade it one level. Is it still 12? Let's take a look. Okay, it's actually the healing got higher. Okay, we need to upgrade you to max. There we go. Level up. So now you do more healing. Very, very nice. So let's actually finally build this thing with this little guy. Go now. Poof, poof. Houses are upgraded. And now we can put one of the guys to work on there. Let's collect some of the sugar. And let's see what we have to do. Place your jelly bean farm. That's still being built. And clear to six. I guess we got to clear to six. To six is just a normal stage. That's kind of weird. Kind of weird. But oh well. I guess the giant little statue is uh, what we're supposed to actually go to. Oh no, a run part. Oh, I completely butchered that. Oh, I want that. Yeah. Oh boy, these always come so unexpected. I always get a jump scare when they come. <laughs> wow, well, that was really unexpected. Oh my god. A victory! Even though we totally butchered the run part, we still got three stars. We arrived at the stage for the quest. I have no idea if this stage will have something special for us, but we never know. Let's just get through it and see what happens. Oh, we found one of those weird cookies ahead. This really looks like the head for the giant statue outside. Don't you guys think? Hmm. Our next quest is restore the giant statue. But hey, look at that. Our stores are complete. Let's go. And we also got a kingdom level up. And you can already guess why we're back at the city. Because, unfortunately, that was all the time I had for today. So guys, I'm gonna head out. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!